Hello, this is Inside Kano TV and I am Riri Williams. Today on 101, I am with Miss Confidence as our guest for today. My name is Oji Confidence Dojuku. I am from Imo State, Okibo local government precisely. I graduated from Madonna University, LA. Electrical and Electronics, specialized in telecommunication engineering. December 2012, we went for our NYSC. And when the call up letter came up, I was posted to Yobe State. Then it was when the Boko Haram thing was very, very hot. So, those of us that were posted to Yobe State, we were asked to go for our orientation course at Nasarawa. That's where we went to go and do our three weeks of uh, camping. So from there, opportunity were given to us to relocate to any state of our choice. I decided that I want to come to Kano State. They were surprised that like, how will you come to Kano for your NYC when people are running away because of the war? I said, no problem. I want to go there. They approved it immediately. Thank you. So doing your NYC in Kano State, uh, where was your place of primary assignment? Okay, I was. You know, then is a must you have to serve in this school. So I was posted to a primary school here in Canada. At the cost of doing that, you know, you have to, if you have alternative, maybe working in a place or something, apart from the primary assignment, I, I, I was lucky I got jobs somewhere also. So I was doing the two together. So now back to the ICT um, center that you would do in your NYC period. So what was the need you saw as of then? All right. When I joined the ICT CDS group, mm -hmm. I found out that the place we are staying or gathering every Thursday for our, our, our community development, it was not really enough. It was small and the core members were much. So based on that, I said no. Since um, we were taught in the NYC, campaign that we supposed to look out into the community we are being posted to what is a peculiar thing they needed in that particular area if we can do it it will create an impact an impact that will last and in that that our names can actually be written down that we did something it's not just one year so since i love my course and i specialize in telecommunication I said, I can actually start off by building an ICT center. But the fear was, how will I do this? I know it's capital intensive. Asking persons, how, if you want to do any community development, and how will you do it? So we're telling me, you got to look for sponsors. You have to do this and that. I said, I don't know anyone. This is my first time. So how do I even start? One day, I went to a um, business center to go and photocopy some of the papers. And I met some of my core members. They were just gisting. As we were gisting, one of them heard me when I said I want to build that city center. He was like, "You how within this, you have you are going to pass up this October set highest you are up yeah. of this place." So I said, "Don't worry, I will." My mind is telling me to be possible. So he said, "Okay, what he will do for me is he will just suggest some persons to me." So he listed out some names for me that if I'm bold, I should just go and meet them. If it's the will of God, I will do this and come to pass. From there, I pick it. I started planning, thinking, and all that. I went to so many companies, though. I went to some individuals. Then one day, based on the names he gave me, there was a program I attended in BUK. Where then, one barrister gave a lecture on entrepreneurship. I was interested in that barrister. That I would like to go closer and see. So I now inquired, somebody now directed me where his office is located. When I got there, I just told him, Sir, look at what I have in my life. I submitted my proposal to him. You know, they said, how did you get here? I said, Sir, look, I just told him that I met you somewhere, but I didn't see you one of one, but somebody actually directed me. Who? I said, Sir, don't worry about it. This is what I want. He said, okay. No, well, let us see how it will be. Okay, what you do, go and... Um, do the estimate of what it will cost because this thing you actually want to do 
I'm surprised that a lady, a young lady like you, can just come to a place you've not been to, want to do this. Let's see if it will work out. And one old house man I knew in the company I, I got, the second place I was working, I told him that look at what I can invite. Please, you should come and help me. I've gotten somebody that wants to sponsor me. So the house man now helped me. He said, okay, have you gotten a place? I said, the place is not a problem. I know that if I get a sponsor and tell NYC management, they will help me. So he said, okay, no, and I just estimated some things. So I went back to Barista. Barista said, okay, no, Wahala, have you gotten a land where you want to do it? I said, sir, yes, I've met the NYC management and they have given me a portion. I brought it, the, uh, the proposal. He looked at it. Then it was of around 800 and something thousand naira. That was my first time in life of embarking on a project like that, starting from scratch. So when it was getting towards the that is the finishing. Now when we erected the building, did the electricity wiring and everything, because it was a complete ICT, we had a hall, then we have two offices, we have convenience and um, everything. So money was now running into a million plus. So Barrister has tried. Barrister equally continued giving me money. But at the point, I, I don't want to bother him too much. So I have to like use my own personal money. Then my other sister also, I told, I told her she has to give me some money so that I will run it. Because I don't want to stop her to go, to go be the glory. After everything, I was able to finish it, finish it as in do the finishing and everything, and it was commissioned in September. Wow, that's a great, great, great project there. Do you have any regret of choosing Kano Society? Like, since you had the opportunity to choose any state in Nigeria, would you choose Kano? All right. Honestly, no regrets. No regret in the sense that even the day of um, commissioning of the project, I actually invited the area of Kano, the then area. That is the one that is late now. Mm -hmm. I invited the governor of uh, Kano State, though he did not come. He sent the commissioner for communication, I guess, telecommunication. That was the man he sent to come and be presented. So when they came, then they were surprised also because they said I actually, I actually challenged them what they have never thought of. I brought the idea for them that for me to do this is really a plus and that I should not regret ever coming to Kano State. I'm proud that I was able because sometimes if I look at my system and check out the way I started because I have documentation of everything, mm -hmm. I will say God I thank you that I can do that kind of a thing. So I'm not regretting anything. From your explanation and everything, um, someone will see that it's not easy for a young girl to go to venture into such projects. Yeah. So what would you have to say to some of our young girls still serving? Um, do you have any advice for them? Like, can they do it or you think they shouldn't even start? Honestly, I would advise uh, any person that is going for service, that is NYSC, to think beyond what others are thinking. It's really a good thing. Anyway, especially a new place, if you can create an impact, it's a good thing. NYC is not a period to just go, you flex, you eat your alawi and all that, enjoy yourself. No. Think of something. Anybody that wants to embark on something, and I am advising, and I am, and, and I am encouraging, the person should go, move on, and carry on. God will help him or her to achieve it. It's a good thing to do something. Leave a legacy because it speaks a lot.